Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone, and we're going to take these 38 short Colts and compare them with 38 Special. Both are loaded with four grains of universal powder, and the Lee 105 grain semi wide cutter bullet. So we're going to go ahead and, and test the velocity of the shorter case compared to the longer 38 special case to see if we get more efficient burn of the powder in the 38 short Colt. Now of course the 38 special can be loaded to higher velocity and higher pressure than the, than the uh, 38 short Colt, but when we're dealing with velocities in the 7 to 900 and 950 feet per second range, if the 38 short Colt will give us that and that's all we want, then why go with the 38 special case? We'll need more powder to get the same performance with a larger burn volume. So let's take these to the range and test them and see what we find out. Now just as this special ingot bullet mold from Nick R in Tennessee you see the single action revolver in there well we're gonna go ahead and use our Ruger Black Hawk single action revolver with a six and a half inch barrel for this test well we're not going to show the actual range shooting of these loads today because they behave just like 22 long rifles out of that big Black Hawk revolver. Not much excitement there and besides you've seen me shoot a lot more exciting ammo than uh, these. But the important thing in this video is to show whether the 38 short Colt actually is more efficient with the smaller powder charge space as compared to the bigger 38 special powder charge space. So you see they're parked in places where they're not supposed to be. So they're jammed again today and people are parked outside the range because there's no parking. So first up we're going to shoot the 38 Special with four grains of Universal and the Lee 105 grain semi wad cutter. Five rounds. So we got uh, 771, 741, now there's a bad one, so that, that's incomplete powder burning. That's what that uh, indicates. 577, 695, 706. High of 771, low of 577, average 698, spread of 194, deviation of 73. That's a horrible load. Next we're going to shoot the five rounds of the 38 short Colt with the same powder charge, four grains of universal. And there you see one of the 38 specials right next to the five. So you can see the difference. The 38 short Colt is about a half inch shorter than the uh, 38 special load. And what we're doing here is four grains of universal in the 38 short Colt. And look how much more efficient that load is. Four grains universal, same as the 38 special four grains of universal, but we're getting 1,047, 1,064, 1,013, 1,068, and 1,062. High of 68, low of 13, average of 1,050 with that 105 grain Lee bullet. Spread of 55, deviation of 22. Still not that good, in fact, Looks like uh, the 38 short cold is a much more efficient round uh, with that four grain universal charge. But uh, some heavier bullets probably would shoot better. Pressure really light. The 38 short colds on the left, two, and on the right are the 38 specials. And the pressure is really light on all of those. So we could definitely go with more powder if we wanted to. Well today at the range I'd like to thank John. He's one of our bullseye shooters there. Loves to shoot one-handed at 50 yards. But anyway he um, presented me with 80 
45 cold cases once fired picked them up for me and said uh, he knew I could use them well also he gave me two 44 specials and one 44 magnum case that was mixed in there so thanks to John well I was at the range another shooter was shooting 12 gauge slugs so I picked up 18 of these Winchester high brass slug hulls come in very handy to reload our 12 gauge slugs especially our new thug slugs and then while I was there shooter next to me was shooting 357 magnum so I picked up 40 of these brand new GFL 357 magnum casings so it's a good day at the range picking up brass but it was too busy to pick up lead so I didn't get any lead today but that's okay got a lot of good stuff here so shooters and reloaders out there our conclusions are that if you want to shoot a bullet that's light like the 105 grain Lee semi wad cutter cast bullet then the 38 short Colt will give you velocities that are 350 feet per second higher than the same powder charges that would be used in the bigger 38 special case that is astounding but that's similar to the results we found with a 44 Russian shooting 200 feet per second more velocity than the 44 special so these shorter cases can really be more efficient with certain powders and certain bullets as much as 350 feet per second more velocity with the same powder charge now the accuracy of this bullet and this load in these two cases was not distinguished both of them shot about two inch groups at 12 and a half yards that's not acceptable really two to two and a half inch groups at 12 and a half yards is uh, same as five inch groups at 25 yards not acceptable so uh, shooters reloaders out there take care we learned that the shorter case has some definite advantages in the velocity ranges that favors them. Bye for now.